Madami ng spekulasyon, madami na ang kung ano-anong teorya sa nahalal na mayora ng bamban. While the answers are not conclusive yet, what is clear is that there are enough red flags to warrant further scrutiny. Paano po kami hindi magdududa, mga kaibigan? Pero nung binanggit ni Mayor sa hearing na ang nanay niya ay si Amelia Guo, Ano po ang mga pangalan ng inyong mga magulang? Ang nanay ko po si Amelia Lial po. At ang ama po ninyo? Uh, Angelito Go po. And by the way, sabi niya sa interview niya kay Karen Davila na nakita lang niya ang pangalan ng nanay niyang kasambahay na nakasulat sa birth certificate niya, suggesting na tama ang pangalan ng nanay sa birth certificate niya na Amelia Guo din. Pinacheck namin agad sa PSA ito at ito ang aming nakita. Tapos, nakalagay sa birth certificate niya na married ang mga magulang niya. Pero, no marriage record din. Mamaya, mas lalaliman pa natin ang pagtanong natin dyan because we will show that both her stories, the one in the May 7 hearing and the new one before Ms. Karen Davila, are riddled with holes. Hindi po ba dapat natin siya sa atin ang identity ng isang tao na bago maging mayor ay co-incorporator sa Baofu, ang dalawang hinabla ng Singapore court in a 2.8 billion Singapore dollar money laundering probe, the country's largest money laundering case. Zhang Ruijin has pled guilty. And his romantic partner, Lin Baoying, also involved in Baofu, is still facing charges. But according to news reports literally, literally yesterday, she was also poised to plead guilty. We were also made aware of stunning revelations in international media made by a former Chinese spy, alias Eric, literally just a few days ago, that China planted him in various locations, including in Southeast Asia, as a spy in 2007. Do you believe there are secret plays here in Australia? Australia. Archie Two thousand five ang delayed registration of birth. Opo, hindi two thousand three, but two thousand five upon clarification with PSA. Malabo kasi ang typewriter ink sa birth certificate niya, so nineteen years old na siya noon. Tapos mayroon ding previous investigations in other countries of China planting agents and making them run for public office. Do you? Be I can tell you that uh, I cannot recall. I cannot recall uh, if, it, as is reported, that uh, from 2003 to 2015, 12 years long, uh, that if I can't recall, I can't be an active member. Why would we think exempted tayo? Why would we think that in light of the conflicting claims in the West Philippine Sea, eh, magpapadala sila ng assets sa Australia, U.S., Cambodia, pero hindi sa Pilipinas, nakagitgitan nila sa karagatan? Ano tayo special? Padami ng padami na po ang lumalabas na ebidensya. Transnational crime, money laundering, espionage. It is too early to rule anything out. How do we rule anything out when the documentary evidence throughout history 
demonstrates that united front operations of the Chinese Communist Party have links to triad groups and criminal syndicates. I just like to uh, acknowledge the presence of Senator Sherwin Gachalian. Salamat po sa pagdalo. E, ito mismong Prince Group na ginamit na front ng former Chinese spy na si Elias Eric ay dawit sa scam hub operations. Hindi po ba tama na magtanong? Hindi po ba tama na magduda? Pero mga kaibigan, let me also take this opportunity to remind all of us, racism is never justified. Ang Pilipinas ay dapat manatiling bukas at mapagkandili sa mga taong sumusunod sa ating batas at walang hangaring masama. Pinoy man o dayuhan. I'd like to acknowledge the presence of Senator Rafi Tulfo. Salamat po. We will not condone making open targets of anyone just because of their foreign blood. Gaya ng wala din tayong problema sa mga anak sa labas o anak ng kasambahay na tinago o ano paman. I'm the sponsor of the foundling law at pinaglaban natin ang mga batang ipinanganak na walang ganap na identity. Pero, kung sila ay nagpapapasok ng mga pugante, kung sila ay nakikipagsabuatan sa money launderers, kung sila ay nagtangkang tumakbo for public office na alam nila na mayroon silang disqualification, Kung sila ay nagtatrabaho kontra sa ating pambansang seguridad, pagkukulang naman po namin bilang mga halal na lingkod bayan kung di namin ito maiging siya sa atin. Is this mayor who was born on a farm, taught by literally one person from kinder to high school tapos hindi ng college, a Chinese spy, a big time money launderer, an enabler of scams and human trafficking? None of the above? One of the above? Or all of the above? Friends, the stakes are too high for this investigation not to be pursued. Marami pong salamat.